gentlemen, welcome back. This is fuck it. He's one of my favorite OCs. I should do a video about my OCs. Anyway, so I'm doing another collaboration. This time with Run Run Muffin. This cow is so cute. Anyway, so this is Run Run Muffin. They've been doing YouTube videos for a while. I came across them in the Dina Norlund uh, Discord account, Discord group, and had so much fun doing my first collaboration, I decided to do this one. Uh, Run Run Muffin has a super cute, uh, super cartoony, kind of adorable style. I've been really enjoying watching her videos. I'm really excited to do a collaboration with her. Largely because one, collaborations are fun, and two, her art style is so diggity dang darn cute. So, let's begin. We pulled, or I pulled, from my magical multicolored box of doom, four, and then five prompts, and let's see what happens. Hello. Let's do something fun. So I'm going to pick four. Each of these colors uh, line up with a specific thing. I know the white ones are mammals and one of the orange ones is dinosaurs. So we'll see what we get. I'm going to close my eyes. You're going to have to trust me. It's only one camera right now. And I'm going to pull out four of these. four different colors and one fell out. Well, we'll call this one for good luck. Let's see what we got. We have rainforest. We have walking stick. We have god of shellfish. We have vampire and then our lucky random one decided to join the party that you don't have to do if you don't want to is plain okay here we go first we have rainforest which is easy enough because that's a setting then we had plain which fits pretty well with rainforest because it made me think of a uh, stranded, crashed airplane of adventurers. We had stick bug. Well, I could have a stick bug in the rainforest or maybe an adventurer. We had a uh, god of shellfish, which comes up as the, it's also known as the yeti crab. It's this fuzzy armed lobster thing. And at this point I had a fantastic idea that reminded me of old cartoons of adventurers. There's always some big pilot dude, big chin, strong arms, and some little skinny dude for a companion. I'm pretty sure I talked to Run Run Muffin about this being a creature design, um, instead of like a whole scene, but I got carried away. And I mean, I guess the god of shellfish that I wound up drawing and the stick man, stick bug, could be considered creatures. And then vampire. Not quite sure how I put Vampire in in the end, but I like it. It kind of sets a mood. So starting us off is the aeroplane. I tried so hard to just draw from reference, but there were so many specific angles that I admit I wound up cheating. But I felt like by the end I had drawn over it so many times, and it was obviously an entirely different airplane that I got a little bit, I hope, maybe? Yeah, I, I cannot draw airplanes. So what I wound up doing is actually trace through the image, because I could not get perspective right, I could not get lines right. 
then I drew my own airplane using everything else as a guide, and I feel like I changed a lot and took mostly just the angle of everything. I mean, the wheels are different, and the front of the airplane part is different, and the wings are slightly different shape. So, I hope the copyright police don't come after me. I mean, it's just very closely referenced, right? This is not even like the final time I draw over it. I wound up doing something very similar with the rainforest. Again, I feel like this is a little more forgivable. What I used the rainforest for was more how to get the randomness of foliage right. And I took the pictures I had of the rainforest and like highly warped them to a perspective grid that the iPad uses, which is amazing. And then I kind of used them to be like, oh, how randomly spaced are trees? And I got a guide and then I just kind of copied it. And then I did the same thing with various leaves um, and it's it's just really loose referencing, and it's technically tracing over, but again, it's highly warped, and I'm not following anything exactly. This idea came about uh, as soon as honestly I got I the idea with the plane, and the plane wasn't even supposed to be a prompt. It just jumped out of the box, but I could not get this idea out of my head, and I kept thinking maybe I should really be doing a creature uh, or a monster or something, but this image that I wound up with in the end was so incredibly vivid in my mind that my artistic self wasn't going to rest until I had exactly the scene that was in my mind created, and honestly, I am beside myself with how cool this artwork is. I feel like I've been saying that a lot lately, but really the perspective is so intense. The colors are really cool. I'm really happy with the characters. I mean, in the end, I could have done something a little bit more with contrast, but together it's a really cool piece. I mean, even just looking at the pattern created by the background, it's, it's nice. It's pleasing to the eye. It really does give this massive forest, you are teeny tiny looking up at the sky, kind of dizzying perspective, and that's what I was going for. I added in our kind of main tree, and I didn't follow the main perspective of everything else because I wanted it to stand out. I mean, you still have a little bit of the forest perspective, and it might have been better if I actually did do the perspective, but then you wouldn't have seen, like, the plane at all, would you? I'm new to this whole perspective thing. I know it in theory, but this was an intense view of one point perspective. Oh, dear lordy. So the plane, I took my sweet time, like I said, I traced over it like three or four times to get it right. After doing the forest in the lineless style, I decided that is just what everything is going to be. So I created the plane in the lineless style. It was a lot of fun to figure out exactly colors and tones to get the right kind of depth. I really enjoy doing that. I wanted to add another touch of color, so I wound up doing some blue and eventually change it to purple stripes on the plane. And then there probably was an easier way to do what I did next, but I didn't take the easy way. I erased the plane so you could see the tree uh, parts that were on top of the plane and behind the plane. And I realized I probably could have done the tree erasing and not the plane erasing and it would have gone a lot faster. But I'm just now realizing that now, while I'm talking about this, rather than before, so I ended up going like pixel by pixel because I wanted it to be really clean and crisp and it took forever. I wound up doing a lot of this artwork sitting on the couch with my husband while we watched movies together. I've really been enjoying that about the iPad, and I'm sorry if you guys are getting sick of all the digital art because I've been doing a lot lately, but I've been enjoying the, the freedom to roam about as I will and still be able to create some really cool things. 
I, I, if you really want me to, I'll start doing other videos. I've also been having fun putting cute backgrounds behind the videos whenever I don't have other things. This time I just stole pick things from the, the actual picture. So, spoilers? Question mark? I told you this part was taking a long time. Because it did. It murdered me. And this is, this is sped up a lot. Like, this procreate thing speeds things up a lot. And I was just going, erase, erase, click, click, erase, 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 click, click, erase. Okay, I'm sick of this. Okay, so I have a doll poser thingamajig on my iPad as well, and I used it to figure out the poses for these guys. And similarly how I did the other things, I'm just using it for proportion. And I don't think I would have been able to do this perspective without having these dolls first and fitting them to the perspective. I am not the best at drawing people things, especially at crazy proportions. So yeah, light me on fire if you want. No, don't. I don't think it's that bad. I created something entirely new with it, and honestly, that's what these doll programs are meant for. For artists and reference and stuff like that. So here I am drawing my God of Shellfish character. Like I said, I wanted this big burly dude with fuzzy arms, and I had a ton of fun with him. And then in contrast to him, I wanted the stick bug character to kind of have this like little kid following around the big muscly adventure feeling which I think I came out pretty successfully with. And it was one thing to draw over... Dash once in the room, I'm not sure if you guys can hear this. It was one thing to draw over them. It was another thing to keep with the lineless style, with the depth and the foreground, middle ground, background, and, and the color, with a 3D figure. That was, oh my god, a whole nother difficulty. Uh, I wound up choosing a color palette off the internet that I got when I searched Adventurer's Color Palette. And I played with how exactly I wanted it, um, using, like I said, darker colors for things that were a little farther away, lighter colors for things that were a little bit closer. I couldn't decide if I wanted to do the red boots or the red pants, but I definitely wanted to have the red to bring the red of the airplane to lower in the composition. And I wound up sticking with the pants because I felt like uh, they were a singular shape, whereas the two different red parts of the boots were not of an equal weight to the airplane, so it still made things seem a little skewed. I colored over his fuzzy arms and his face to make him golden yellow again. I thought about keeping him grays, but it didn't scream fuzzy lobster. That is the god of shellfish. So I fixed it. You can't see as easily as I go through the colors on my little stick bug man, but I was pretty happy with those, some nice oranges and purples. I think he's super cute. And it was a lot easier to see when you could zoom in on the iPad. I added some texture to the rope to give it some depth and also again to balance a lot of the texture that is in the upper center with all the leaves uh, when you got to the bottom right things kind of smoothed out so I thought it would be good to roughen something up a little bit and give you know some personality to the roof. I played a lot with different tones and colors to try to continue to push the depth of everything, coloring on top of things, erasing, trying different layer modes. And I futzed with things until I was pretty happy with how things were looking. I really wanted to get this glowing look above the airplane. If you saw there for a brief second, I put in a thing of shutter stock bats. I wasn't planning on tracing those. I just really wanted to see if I wanted to have bats or if it'd be too cluttered. I wound up being pretty happy uh, with my bats, especially after I toned down the greens in the piece to make it seem a little bit more evening time. And I even did two bats like way in the foreground to continue to give you this foreground, middle ground, background depth of this picture. In the end, I am super duper incredibly happy with this art piece. I think it's crazy. 
I think it's crazy that I got it done because, wow, that was a lot of work. I hope to do more artwork like this. It's a full scene. We've got characters. There's... <laughs> it's a full scene. We have characters. There's lots going on. And I'm really enjoying doing some really illustrative work. And I'm learning a lot while I'm doing it. And yes, I'm doing some crutches along the way, but it's allowing me to create things that I wouldn't be able to otherwise. And the mo I find the more I'm using these figures, the less I need them for normal things when I need to do extreme poses. It helps a lot. Anyway, what do you think? Do you think I was successful? Uh, what would you have done with these four slash five prompts? <sighs> Please remember to go check out Run Run Muffin and hers. I haven't seen it yet, so I will be seeing it at the same time you guys see it when she posts her video. I am crazy excited because I don't know where my idea came from, so I'm really curious to see where her ideas went. And it was weird prompts, man. It was weird. Thank you, Violet, for reminding me. I need to thank my patrons. Thank you, Mom, Dad, Jamie, Hans, Kaze, and Cindy. Thank you guys so much for your support. It's incredibly appreciated. And take care of yourselves right now. Make sure you're keeping healthy. Make sure you're keeping your distance. And, uh... Wash your hands, guys. Okay. Bye!